Today, we are dropping the biggest video on the channel for the year. We are going to be winning a 1v1 court game on every build that I have. Yeah, that's right. I have 24 oh builds God. on NBA 2K22. Now, we've done videos like this in the past. In 2K20, I won a 1v1 court game when it was in the park. In 2K21, I did it winning a 1v1 rush on every single build that I had. But today, we are bringing every build that I've made this year, and we're going to be winning a 1v1 stage game. All I ask is for you guys, go ahead and drop a like. This is going to take a lot of time and it's definitely gonna be a challenge because i had to play with like a different play style different animations different jump shot timings and also if you guys are wondering about any of the builds that you're gonna be seeing just go ahead and type in on youtube dignify 2k whatever build the player build that you guys see and it should pop up so this is one of the first builds i made this year it's one of the newer build names in the game it's my michael jordan balance score build you can see it's got contact dunks all that kind of stuff i just want to show you guys the build before i go ahead and start the game and this is the badge count that we're gonna be rocking with all right so for the first build the michael Jordan balance score build let's go ahead and get right into this now whenever people ask me about my favorite build I usually say this balance score build because it literally does everything in the game that I like and also playing the 1v1 court for like the first day of the season you never know like how good these people are either it starts with a stop though let's get a stop I haven't played on this build in a while man but it's so good I'm hoping to make something like this in 2k23 stop but we start well, I thought we started with the stop. Dude, I hate the way that people move on this game. It is so annoying. How is he making these? Going down 7-0 is never a good start. Yeah, and that's where we don't turn the ball back over. Go MJ mode right here. Bump steal? You ain't gonna bump steal on this. Look, we're out of here already. First play. Hey, throwing it down. I don't know why he's leaving me open. If I can get another contact dunk. I actually haven't got one at all. But hey, we'll throw that down too. Layup. Tough lay. I might just have to pack him up. I don't know. I'm gonna try to do different stuff because he is just running straight to the paint. So like off dribbles and stuff like that should be pretty easy, but I don't want to turn the ball over too many times because 2K will allow kids like this to win all the time. Dunk. Hey, uh, we got post scoring takeover. Now you don't see a lot of guard builds like this with post take, which made this build a lot of fun in the beginning of the year. Like I said, it was probably one of the most fun builds I played on all year long. Oh my gosh, 42% contested hook. Yeah, we'll take that all day. Sitting in the paint like that, I need a dunk on him. It wouldn't be an MJ. I'm not doing it justice if I don't hit at least a post fade on him, you know? Might have to go and bang in the post a little bit, spin off him. Oh my gosh, that's good. Woo Crapped on the post fade is crazy. All right, let's see if we can do something right here. We need a contact dunk low key. Come on, contact, please. Hey, there we go. Not the best contact dunk animation. Now, if you guys do remember, Michael Jordan does have his own spin jumper in this game. It's pretty horrible. But let's see if we can do it real quick. I want to see if we can green it. Please. Hey! <laughs> It's not green, but it's going in for the first game on one of the best builds in my opinion this year The Michael Jordan build we got the job done This ladies and gentlemen was one of the first glitched builds that you could make on the game I have this multi-position defender catfish LeBron James build This was one of the most fun builds I made this year as well You guys can see the drive dunk is ridiculous great ball handle good defense What was fun about this build not too many people had it to start and had glitched dribble moves So it was a big hit on the channel also, shout out to my guy, Foggy. Dude, I'm so thankful that you guys are allowing me to get the course. Like I say in every video, it saves me a ton of time. If you guys are watching this video during this time, I know season nine is not the most exciting. So if there's any of these builds that you guys are seeing that you want to see like a full video on and more gameplay, just let me know down below in the comment section, of course. Hey, this build, bro. I haven't brought this to the 1v1 court, I don't think, all year. <laughs> What's this guy laughing at? Oh, combo. Oh, <laughs> oh. Can we get a contact? No, we can't. Dude, why is he getting so many stops in the paint? I'm trying to go for contacts. Oh, this is a great start. I think I'm 0 for 3. Oh my. <laughs> bro, if I turn the ball over again, I'm just going to let him shoot every time. All right, let's get, let's get in our back, bro. What is going on here? There we go. That's all we needed to do. That's something like. Should have put on the silencer for LeBron. I forgot to do that. It's all good, though. Look. He knows we can shoot now, even though we've got stuffed by the rim like three times. Let's see if we can finally get ourselves a dog. There we go. That's all we needed. Now, I don't know if we have like any of LeBron's signature animations on this build. We might have his layups, I think. Let's see if we have a layup on. I don't know. Can't tell if that's a LeBron <laughs> layup or not. Dude, I have so many nice contact dunks. I have to try to get something. Got to get something here. We'll take a little, we'll take another little lay. When I get that slashing takeover, I'm only going for contacts. But let's go into the post a little bit. This build doesn't have the best post fade, but it definitely has enough to get the job done. So let's see if we can hit a little something. 
Something deep? Oh my gosh. That was from kind of far out too. Okay, I wanted to dunk that standing dunk wise, but we got the slashing takeover. Let's see if we can get ourselves a nice poster. You know, it's, it's been a while since we got something crazy. Oh, tough let. Dude, this guy must have like the best inside defense like ever. Like I've, when I hop off the court, I'm gonna have to look at his interior because for some reason he's getting the best contest I've ever seen in the paint. We hit him with a spin shot. I feel like we haven't done that in a while. With the meter is insane. Might be it. Here we go. Hey, not the best one. Not what I'm looking for, bro. We'll take that, of course. Look at him. Here we go. Another poster. Uh, throw it down, Braun. All right, for game, let's see if we can throw it off the backboard. I haven't done that in a long time, I feel like. All we got to do is get him one way. Throw it off the backboard. Come on, Braun. Hey! <laughs> The disrespect on that dunk, man. The LeBron James build. You can't beat this. The seven-footer, one of the best power forwards to ever play the game. We've got my Dirk Nowitzki balance score build. I think what stands out the most with this is the 99 post fade. So it's literally a perfect Dirk build in my opinion. And of course, for this build, we have to use a lot of Dirk's animations. We have his releases on a jump shot. And we've got his dribble pull up, his spin jumper, his hop jumper, his post fade. So let's see what we can do. All right, so I've had back-to-back -back games where the person has lagged out or just, they're just not here. So hopefully, I've played three games now. Hopefully, this is the one where the guy's actually here playing. All right, slashing playmaker too. All right, I wanted to kind of go up against the center against this build, but hey, we'll take whatever we can get. Gonna try to play a little bit more in the post on this build because obviously I could just like do snatchbacks and shoot threes and stuff like that, but that's not the whole point. Like, that's not what I want to do. We want to do a little Dirk-esque type of stuff right here. Like, starting off with a nice little post fade. 99 post fade, I'm not going to lie to you, is pretty OP. Get him, just make him honest. Let's make him an honest man. You know, I shot, you know, a post fade, but I'm also going to show him I can dunk. Let's do a little hook shot. Not ex- Oh my gosh. I wasn't expecting to be able to make that. Oh my gosh. Dude, that animation is horrible. Now that I'm using the meter, I can see how slow that is. We got to get a three up, right? Come on, easy, let's go. Man, dude, this build is so nice. Ooh, look at that. Crossover. Hey! <laughs> hey, this is prime Dirk Nowitzki. He was throwing it down a little bit. Oh my gosh, that move was disgusting. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, Circus 3's even popped up on that. Can we fade one over those? I'm getting a little bit too confident. Oh, wow. Old rebound. Thank you very much. Spin off you. Thank you again. And throwing it down. Come on. Oh, the off dribble is gross, too. That was open. Yeah, that was only 3%. All right. Well, let's see if we can play some defense. This guy, hopefully he's not the best. One snatch back and shoots a three. All right. You want to see how bad this post hop shot is? I'll show you how bad this post hop shot is. Oh, please. <laughs> it is so slow. I have no clue what that timing is either. Hop jumper. No, I wanted to do a hop jumper, but we'll take that anyway. Guys, please let me know down below in the comment section. Do you want to see me use all of Dirk Dirk's animations and bring it back to the one court? Luca the Don. Now, this build's only at a 98 overall right now, which isn't a big deal. It didn't really unlock anything else too crazy, but we have a lead dribble moves, get three point shot. And of course, for Luca, he's got a couple signature things I wanted to make sure I put on. So we got his dribble pull up, his hop jumper jumper is pretty atrocious but if we could break some ankles with the hop jumper in green that would be pretty nice but the thing with this luca build like i said i'm used to doing like off dribble shots and maybe some other things but the hop jumper i'm not used to the off dribble i'm not used to we're going up against a three-point playmaker only at level one so we might have a good chance out of all the face scans i have this year this luca one might low-key be the best one just ignore the shoes i thought they look good but they definitely don't do we try the off dribble for the first shot let's try it Hey, it goes in, but it uh, doesn't look the prettiest. We have to get the shot creating takeover just so we can try the hop jumper. <laughs> the hop jumper definitely is easier to green when you have the meter on because, dude, that thing looks so slow. A little rim run, maybe? A little rim run, maybe? Oh, he's throwing it down. Green can't leave us open. They're all kind of different, but they're all pretty good in their own right. We're going to get shot creating takeover so quick off this. Keep fading. Just keep fading. Just keep fading. Yeah, that's easy. All right, shot take. We should be able to break them. We should be able to do some step back threes. Let's see what we got right here. Come on, step up. Come on, go in. No. I think I have to do those with the meter. Because, dude, that timing, I have no idea what it looks like. Come on, man. If you guys want to see another Luka build, maybe on the 1v1 court at 99 overall, you guys let me know down below in the comment section. Still going to try to do some stuff, you know, but I can only do so much if he's not playing the game, bro. 
Because that's how, dude, I can't even green that off dribble. The off dribble timing is crazy. See what it looks like if I actually do it though to like the right side, you know? All right, we can finally green that one. Oh, come on. Luca. Woo! <laughs> okay, that was worth it. That looks so nice. Yeah, dude, doing that with the meter is just so much easier. We'll take, <laughs> we'll take that. I don't know what that dude was doing defensively, but easy W. Again, like I said, if you do want to see maybe this build, a little bit more gameplay on this before 2K23, you guys let me know. All reliable, you guys know the six foot 10 Giannis build, arguably the most overpowered build this year. These are the crazy stats that we have. This is the amount of badges. Now it's gonna be like some games where I'll start with the ball first and you know, on builds that I'm not too worried about, like my Giannis build right here, I'll allow the other guy to get the ball first. What I want you guys to do is comment down below, what was your favorite build that I made all year long? I always say it's between this build, my balance score, or, or even sometimes the paint beast, which you guys will see later. Going up against a mid-range shot creator. Uh, let's go down here then. And then dunk it. Like I said, whatever it takes on this court, we just do it. This guy's going to be cheesy, though. I can already tell. Oh, I'm used to my... Oh, my gosh. I was trying to do the Giannis that I was doing on my 6'9", and I can't even do that on this build. No. Oh, that's where it comes into play, bro. The timing on that jump shot. Oh, he's cut. He's got Paul George on too. All right, we gotta lock in. All right, let's go. Let's do a little Hezzy. A little one of these. I gotta get used to playing on this build again. Let's do a Euro step. See if he's reaching. We're too big. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to stop that. I think two, they said on 2K23. Come on, get one. Oh my gosh. They said on 2K23, Euro steps were gonna be brought back and more overpowered. You guys know how I love my Euros. All right, let's get back in my bag. I can't be having my worst performance on one of my favorite builds and the one I'm most known for. So let's get a... Let's get a little contact dunk right here. Why don't we? Why don't we get a, Okay, a little tough play. We'll take that too. We got to get the mid-range shot right. Come on, bro. We had to get the mid-range shot. It's a little contested too, I guess. Am I just going to get layups, bro? Like I don't have like almost a 99 driving dunk. I, this has to be a build that I get like a really nice contact dunk animation with, right? Like I have to. It has to. Has to happen. All right, spin back. Look at him reach. He's trying to reach. Let's try to Euro step instead. See, I noticed that he was reaching and trying to get a ball stripper. So I'm going to hit him with a Euro. Hey, there we go. Little combo move real quick. Hit him with the Euro. Mm, we just Euro stepping our way in there, man. I cannot wait for 2K23 to be overpowered with Euros. Come on, man. You got to step up green. Take those. Really good. Oh, combo hook. Combo hook. Let's do a hop step this time. Hey, easy dunk for the game. Hey, shout out to that guy. He was on a win streak, but when you're going up against a 6'10 Giannis build, you're pretty much at my mercy. Or Melo Anthony. Mid-range Maestro was a build I made later on in the year, and you guys can just tell by the stats how fun this was. I uploaded this as my dream build for 2K23, and if I could make something like this and be 6'7", this might be a build I make. I will continue to say this every single time somebody allows me to do this. Thank you so much for allowing me to get the court. Like, this video in particular would take so long. Ooh, come on, man. Get it in my bag a little bit. Now, this is different animations completely than what I'm used to. So, I got to get used to these again. Because it has been a very long time since I've used these. Oh, he's got Paul George left riding. And this is going to be a game where we got to sweat. This guy has Paul George and he's just going left to right. So, And doing quick drop-offs. The most toxic thing you could do on this game. Easy. Let's go. I don't know how much I'll be able to do on this build. So if you guys want to see some more gameplay on it, I have uploaded this at 99 overall. So you might want to go check that out. Easy. Get into the post. Press behind the back. Snatch it back. Easy green. Come on. Guard up. Yeah, I know it's a mid-range maestro, but we're shooting threes today. If that's all right. <laughs> Bro, this is just like so easy. All right. We got 12 points. We're close to post scoring takeover. I did start with a post hop shot, but let's go back down here real quick. You know, not too many times you'll see builds like this. Oh my gosh. <gasps> no, I had him leaning too. I have to make that. Dude, that's literally perfect defense. I can't play any better defense than that. percent come on all right i really have to like focus in on this game because this guy is sweating so hard right now bro it's like kind of ridiculous but you see how much quicker this build moves when i get when i get that post score and take too oh my gosh easy 
Hey, he's throwing it down one hand. Now, people were saying you could get contact dunks. I'm not trying that right now because I do have this plus five, so I'll have like an 87. Come on, don't leave me open, bro. Too easy. Come on, man. Did we even miss a three? Now nah, we were three for three on this build. Again, like I said, this is one of my favorite builds this year. So I'm glad we could win the first game. Now we have the big diesel, the Shaq build. That's looking a little bit something like this. We got a decent post fade, a 99 standing dunk, which we're trying to get some big man contact dunks with and pretty good defensive stats. All right, we might have our work cut out against us because the guy that we're about to play is a seven foot three player and he's a mascot with 13 points a game oh my gosh this is not gonna be fun now we're clamping that up sir no no that's not that's not what's gonna happen man this th yeah that's not what's gonna happen this is gonna be kind of fun look how much takeover we already have too come on <laughs> come on man you better guard up Nice, man. 44% contested. No, nope, that's off. <laughs> Give me that. Come on, bro. We got to be anything off take now. Easy. Two hands. Come on. I think we might have takeover off that, and we do. Six points, and we have post scoring takeover. Now, this will be interesting to see how he plays us. I feel like we can just go into the rim and, like, kind of spin by him, maybe. <laughs> Caught. Hey, he's throwing it down. Come on, Shaq. This guy, I remind you, is seven foot three, and he's in the one of the, like the biggest mascots you can get. So doing this is kind of nice. Here we go. Come on, Green. You better guard up. <laughs> we could be toxic and just go under the rim and pump fake too, my guy. Oh, give me the contact, oh, bro. I just wanted to get the big man contact, so I just went up with something stupid. That's the thing. I checked. He is two hundred and twenty-five pounds. I think I'm like two seventy-five. And I'm faster. Hey, look at that Shaq dunk. Come on, man. I'm actually surprised we're getting a lot of stops on a seven foot, like pure blue build in the paint. Green, 24% contested. Let's go. Too easy. All right, watch this. I'm going to do the same thing. He's going to jump at it. Oh my gosh. Come on. That's just, that's just skill. He probably thought I was about to do a post hook. Okay, well, I do want to get a big man contact dunk, but I don't know if I'll be able to do it on this guy. Look at that layup though. Like, I just let me dunk it. That was gonna be so nice. No, dang, bro. If this, if he comes back twenty to four, all right, it's sixteen to twenty. I have like pretty much one opportunity to make this look good. I just gotta wrap it up. Come on, man. Get off the court. Fading away. Taking him off the win streak. Big Shaq. Going up against a 7'3". You love to see it. A sharpshooter with contact dunks. You can see the stats. is so offensive-oriented. It looks so nice. We got an 80 driving dunk. Great three-point shot. Great dribble moves. The defense, I'm telling you, is going to get the job done as well. All right, so I don't know what order all of these are going in, but I'm recording this one at midnight. So if my, if my energy level is a little low, just cut me some slack. The LML banner are kind of fire. I've never seen that. Come on, two hands, please. Yes, let's go. Come on, easy dunks. We're doing whatever we can, bro. I have to win these games fast because this is starting to take a little too long. All right, has he? Boom. Between the legs. Ooh. Come on, you gotta step up, man. You can't be giving us that much room. We're a sharpshooter. Now, I know the easiest way to get the slasher takeover, which is what we ultimately want, is by doing this right here. But I don't want to do that the whole entire time. I'm not gonna lie. Dude, look how fast, dude. That's what I'm saying. Like, a majority of these I've been using normal too, but some of them I think I have Nate Robinson still on. So I have to get used to that again. Because, like, I'm like, why am I not comboing this like how I want to? Easy fake. Come on, green. Need those. Thank you very much. See, look, that's why having all of these finishing badges and extra badges comes into handy. I think I have, like, Giant Slayer and all this kind of stuff popping up right there. All right, he just sold. We are, it's the comeback city. It's 20 to 16. There's just no way he just sold right there, right? Easy, come on. Easy two hands, bro. The fact that this kid was just mashing me on a glass cleaner the whole entire game is insanity. 
throwing it down. Now we've got Slasher Takeover. I'm not going for a contact dunk. I've done this for too long. The fact that this is even a closed game is embarrassing. And we're standing dunking it too. We are the toxic sharpshooter. Get off my court. You are terrible. Now, this build started off originally as the Bull Bull build, but we've kind of changed it since then to the Chet Holmgren build. You can see here by looking at the stats, very well-rounded. It's got some driving dunks, some shooting stats. And we're going to be able to dribble on this build at 7 foot tall, which makes it a lot of fun. This is the batch count that we have. All right, so we're back on the Chet build. Now, for a build like this, I've played on it recently, but... This is the one that has like totally different animations that I'm even used to. I've got like fun little dribble style on, so this should, this should be interesting. Come on, green. Need that easy. I don't know why my green light celebration is not popping up either. It's kind of weird. It's combo. Oh, spin. Drop step. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Stop leaving me open, bro. Look at that green light, too. We're green at everything. Come on. I don't know all the animations I have, but we're about to try. About to try post fades, too. Ooh. I missed. No. Oh, yeah. He's slow. Oh. oh. That's a good stop. We're going to the post. Spin out. Can we Euro him? Can we give him the Euro? Oh, my gosh. And the finger roll. Dude, this build is so slow. I don't think this guy can shoot either. He's just wanted to dunk. Give me that. Why would it make me block his shot and throw me out of the way? Come on, 2K. Man, that's just a great shot attempt right there. I love this game. Is that green? No, that was slightly late. See, now I don't even know what like I'm shooting. Can we get a spin back in it? Actually, let's go for a dunk. Hey, throwing it down. And we're ending off sharp take. Once I get sharp take, I could probably do like fades and like off dribble threes and stuff like that. But let's see if we can go down here real quick. Hit him with the size up. Run this way. Post fade. Oh, we greened that one nice. Okay, I could like I said, I can't even tell. Might just need to get one to go in real quick. Real quick. Was that? There we go. We greened it. Easy green. Come on. Don't know if I greened it again. Like I said, I did though. I wanted to shoot like an off dribble three with my sharp take, but like every single time I had it, this kid would just get the ball back. So let's see if we hit this one at least. Hey. <laughs> I can't tell if I greened it, but we're shooting all dribbles too. All right. I thought this was going to be a lot harder than it was. All right. It's time to bring out my two-way pass first point LaMelo ball build. This is what the stats are looking like. We've got playmaking takeover for ankle breakers. Here's the badge count. All right. Here we go. So on this build, I'm really just trying to get ankle breakers because I think this is like one of two builds that I have that with even playmaking takeover. You guys know if you watch the videos, I've been trying to get an ankle breaker animation where they fall all the way to the ground for so long, but hopefully we we could do it right now all right so we're just gonna do it anything we can to get takeover right here so i think like even fading in the mid-range you're trash guys. Oh, i'm so bad all right so we gotta shoot a three just to get it started but look bro i get a rebound and a three-pointer and that's how much takeover i get bro is curry do curry fade is just not good for me bro i gotta go back to using trey young all right, let's do a quick dunk. Let's see, is dunking helping us? I mean, a little bit. All right, we have seven points, and we're not even like a fourth of the way to take over. So I don't know how this is going to go. But honestly, like I said, you got to do whatever it takes. But bro, why am I not grinning these? There we go. Come on. I'm at the A at 13. The only thing about playmaking takeover on the ones court is like you legit get it at the very end and you can see too i don't know if you've noticed i'm using like a lamello ball type of release in his jumper but uh yeah like i said we are pretty much anything off of right here maybe that'd be it i just chopped and of course i miss and my takeover goes down awesome that might be that might have been exact oh dude that was my chance bro i got the perfect block and rebound and he steals it right away now there's no way i'm getting it all right, let's see. Yeah, I'll definitely be able to get it. One more shot, but I have to make it, and I cannot mess around. I cannot get a turnover or anything. Dude, there's no way. Look how close I was to getting takeover, bro. All right, if we can't get takeover, we're going to have to hit it with, like, a crazy shot per game. With meter? And of course... <laughs> Of course, I make that shot and I get play take right after, bro. Man, I I just wish I could have gotten it. Maybe the Allen Iverson build will be able to do it. 
the reigning MVP, we've got my Nikola Jokic interior finisher build. Here are the stats at 99 overall. You can see it's got standing dunk, post look, three point shot, post control, all the good stuff. And here are the badges that we've got. All right, boys, we got our work cut out for us. We got ourselves going up against, for some reason, a seven foot three paint beast. How is that green? All right, he's kind of nice with the little post looks, getting him off quick. All right, I thought he was going to be like drop stepping and stuff. All right, well, there's one stop. All right, well, we got that. We won't be able to really, like, stop him that often, so I have to kind of make use of everything I just did. Please. <laughs> oh, good shot selection. Then let me make it. Oh, wow, he missed that. And then he leaves us open. Hey, I, I ain't complaining. Don't know how he just missed that wide open under the basket shot at seven foot three, but... Oh my gosh, please dunk that. Let's love this game, bro. Hey, at least we forced him to pick the ball up. I don't know why. Come on, green. You gotta guard up, my guy. Like, that's the thing. Like, I don't really want to go in the post against this dude. Yoink. Hmm, okay. Look at us playing a little bit of defense. All right, dude. I just like so confused on what I need to do. Like, I feel like I should just go into the. Oh my gosh, where are you going? See, I'll take those dunks too. Like, I feel like I should go in the post and do post fades. But like, I, I mean, I think I've done that on enough builds. Oh my gosh, bro. The stop that I just got in the paint against this guy. Uh, okay, all right, lock in, lock in, lock in, lock in. Let's go. <laughs> Get off my core, man. The seven foot three. He is done. Bro, I got the luckiest steal when he had post score and takeover too. I honestly thought I had lost that one, but we'll take it. I know I didn't post score that much, but just being a seven foot three, in my opinion, is more impressive. Now we have my no money spent slasher Anthony Edwards build. I actually have a whole playlist of how this build progressed. So if you guys missed that, definitely go check that out after this video. But this will be the first time we get to go to the 1v1 court with it. This is what the attributes are looking like. Here are the badges. You can see we have Hall of Fame shooting and Hall of Fame finishing. But you've been waiting for the Anthony Edwards words build to debut on the 1v1 court and we're here today with it point fours are pretty cheesy so the last thing i really want to do is turn the ball over against this guy because like he'll be pretty good with it i feel like but you know when we're green in shots it doesn't matter two hands <laughs> big man hand contact hey straight arm tomahawk come on we gotta give this slashing takeover and i don't want to give this guy the ball his defense is actually pretty good i think we could fade come on green let's go that's like the first time i think i've hit a fade on this build Green, come on. Can't leave us open. I guess I didn't. Do I get Trey Young escape on this? I think I do. I just didn't have it on, I guess. Dang. Yoink. Oh, we get it right back, though. Easy one. Come on. Straight off Tomahawk for slasher take. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get a nice little contact off here. Little Hezzy, a little snatch, a little, little Nate Robinson, a little aggressive behind the back. Come on, contact. Straight off Tomahawk again. We'll take it, though. Fade away. Come on. Easy. Dude, I swear I never green those, but I mean, I guess everything's working right now. Ooh, hit him with a spin back like it's 2K21. Let's go. <laughs> Easy, bitch. 21 or 2. Like I did say, this is one of the most toxic builds in the game. It can literally do everything, and with the Hall of Fame badges, it's tough to stop. You know, most glass cleaners are builds that are spot-up shooters and stuff like that, but that is the complete opposite of what this build is. Contact dunks. We can still shoot. Good dribble moves. As you can see, we have Hall of Fame finishing and Hall of Fame playmaking on this build. All right, here we go. We're going up against a guy. He's, he's a 97 overall. He might be all right. He's a playmaking shot creator, so you never know what you expect. But here's the Catfish Glass Cleaner. It's honestly probably one of the most overpowered builds this tier at six foot nine. Now, this build does get really good contact dunk animation, so I have to like see if I can do that. And also, I have to prove to this guy that I can shoot. But we're going to go ahead and just dunk one down real quick. Yeah, I have the dunk next to my name, so he definitely doesn't think, <laughs> he doesn't think I'm a shooter, but... Oh, where is he going? Where oh, the Michael Jordan dunk. I like that. I forgot I have that. Let's see if he'll start running into the paint. I don't know. Yep. Just like I predicted. You got to step up to the weird build, my friend. Euro step. Hey, just a quick little throw down. I like it. What is he doing, bro? Does he not think this build can shoot? Does he not know? Does he not know this is the catfish glass cleaner, but we're still shooting threes? Does this take so long to record this video? I don't think you guys understand how long this actually is taking. Cause it's so it takes forever even to get just like a game to message somebody and allow me to get the court whenever I do get it. That takes a long time too. 
Good Euro. But we are a catfish glass cleaner, but that doesn't mean we're not going to get our own rebound, though. Ooh, shooting the off dribbles on the glass cleaner. Perfect. Another Michael Jordan dunk. Let's go. I will right, we'll wrap it up with a three. I haven't missed from three yet. So let's see if we can go three for three from three. Because I, you know, last time I recorded on this build, it took, for, it took me forever to actually make shots because it was super difficult. But there we go. Three for three from three. We're looking nice. 23-0 catfish glass cleaner. That's how we do it. This is my two-way tempo pusher. You can see the contact dunks are crazy post look for some reason. Good three-point shot, elite dribble moves. So we should be catching a lot of bodies on this build. This is one of the few builds that I actually have like the dare for size up and stuff like that. So I don't really usually use this. But we're going up against the point forward. He had lock take. He's looking toxic. I'd have to lock in. This guy's on a win streak. But uh, let's see what we can do here. Like I said, I haven't used like the curry like that. Or the Derrick Rose like that in a very long time. But it's looking like it's just as easy as I thought. <laughs> really, I could just rim run, I think, the whole entire game if I wanted to. But I want to shoot some threes. Maybe a little off dribble. Didn't hurt anybody, perhaps. A little green bean. I don't know why. I have curry on and that looked insane. Yep, easy. Come on. Hey, the straight arm tomahawks every single time if we have to. This build, honestly, is pretty nice. Like, honest, if you wanted to use this build, like, as the meta, you definitely could. Because, like, look, I don't know why he's guarding the three-point line. Like, that's so heavy. But I watched this guy play before. If he touches the ball too many times, he's definitely going to just win. Let's go into the post. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm really just playing so weird on these builds. Guys, this is like my 12th build I've played on a row. And, you know, John Moran number 12. But, you know, like I said, we have to do a little bit of everything. Green, come on. Can't leave us open. Why was his lock take pushing me like that? Here we go. Contact. Hey, too easy. Come on, man. I have yet to get like a super rare contact dunk on any of the builds I've had, which has been kind of surprising. Match. Green, come on. You got to step up, man. This is way too easy. Contact dunk time. No, <laughs> but bro, did I, I think I missed maybe one shot. I missed one three point attempt early and I got my own rebound off of it. But like I said, dude, the John Morant build, one of the rarer builds in the game, two way tempo pusher, has elite dribble moves, contact dunks, three point shots. It doesn't get too much better than this. Next build is one of the new build names on NBA 2K22 that I made was the two way stretch glass cleaner. One of the more popular builds, especially in the beginning of the year on my channel. So the build is basically the glass cleaner, which you guys have seen a lot, but it's got a little meat on its bones, all right? So it's got some weight to them. Other than that, it just looks pretty well rounded to me. This is the first time I brought this build to the 1v1 court. This is like one of the first builds I've made. Of the year too. Oh my gosh. Come on, please, please. Oh. <laughs> Bro, tell me that didn't look like a contact dunk. Let's see if we can just go to the left or throw it down again. Nope. Oh. Too slow you're way too slow bro this build honestly one of the best builds i've made this year like it can do pretty much everything i right, let's see maybe just jab step them jab step and fade you guys know how to do it come on that's way too easy i like that little green celebration too there we go there we go that's what we like to see i don't know what dunk dude i don't know anything about this build i haven't played on in a very long time or like all right great shot six seconds <laughs> Look at that defense, man. I don't know if I have steel upgraded, but the ball stripper animation works every single time. I like how we go up against another like big man when I'm on this build. Because usually I'll go up against guards and I can kind of just mash around. But going up against big on big is kind of nice. See? Hey, easy two hands. Maybe just one snatch back will get us open. Yep, and it will. Let's go. Come on, baby. One more point. Ooh, don't tell me I got him with it. It went in. I saw it. No rebound necessary. 8 to 22 for the first time using the two-way stretch glass cleaner. Not too shabby. Now we've got the six foot eight Kevin Durant facilitating finisher build. What I liked the most about this, it had that 70 ball handle contact dunks, a good enough three-pointer, it could fade. And it was six foot eight with shot take. Now I know I say this about a lot of my builds, but when it comes to the KD build, I think the last time I was on this might have been like three months ago. Don't know what animations I have on or anything like that, but we're about to find out. Yeah, man. Too bad you run out. Hey! <laughs> yeah, man, I'm Kevin Durant. All right, let's go to the post. Ooh, shooting over those like KD. Why green that? I guess I forgot I don't have, what's it called on? I don't have my uh, my timing apparently. 
So I can't tell if I green these or not. Am I greening these? It's like the only player that hasn't happened to. What these? Oh, this is easy. This is easy. Where are you going? I hope you have fun, bro. I might have fun. All right, dude, I said to get a shot take. There's also a spin move that I put on. I think I have Penny Hardaway. So I want to see if I can, like, you know, actually get somebody with this. I feel like I can do it right here. Oh, my gosh. Get in there, green. Woo! <laughs> Come on, man. I'm hoping that was green. Oh, we're going get to get ourselves a contact dunk real quick. Hey, bro, it's kind of throwing me off that I don't have my green celebration in the top right. All right, we got to break this guy's ankles. I've tried too long to go for clips, and this guy now knows that I'm trying to do it. So I might just have to end it right here. Just go for a quick little dunk. Hey, like I said, if you want to see more of a particular build, you can see I have 13 rebounds. I'm telling you, I try to do something cool. Just let me know down below in the comment section. We might be able to bring it back out again. These are the stats, and here are the badges. All right, here we go. I love using this lockdown defender build because I don't have to really worry about turning the ball over that much because I know I'll just get it right back. All right, we're going against the slashing playmaker. So, all right, so here we go. The 3D off guard. Like I said, this build can be pretty toxic, not only defensively, but it can also ISO a little bit. So watch what I can do here. Like just comboing up something slight, you know, we're getting right to the three point shot and green it. It's been a second, you know, like I said, we have to get used to the dribble moves and all that kind of stuff again. You know, what did we do that? We're looking fine. We do a little jab step for old time's sake. How many times will I do this on every build that I play on? You guys let me know. Look at that defense in the paint, man. Come on. Finally, give me a dunk, man. Come on. That's all we got to do. The little snatchbacks are going to be so key. And like I said, if I do turn the ball over again, I'm anything off of having lock take, which is going to be really nice. Oh, my gosh. That was a fading three. Come on, man. We're looking nice now. We just had to get warmed up. That's it. That's all you had to do. Just get warmed up a little bit, you know? And when I get that lock take, you can see how much faster this build moves. And we're throwing it down. Yeah, this is where I'm in my bag now. Look at us. We have lock take. Why do you think you go into the paint and just do that? Mm, we don't even have to green it, bro. Bolster for our gold is too overpowered. All right, we got to do something crazy for the end game right here. Little, I think I think it calls for this. Oh <laughs> my gosh, bro. See, that's how you end a game, man. This lockdown defender build this year was honestly way too overpowered. Now, this is the first Giannis build I made all year long. It was the six foot nine Giannis build. The stats looks really good. And as you guys can see, we have that 65 ball handle. So we get that nice Giannis signature size up. And here's the badge count right here. Ooh, we got ourselves a rebounding wing. All right. I've uploaded on this build kind of recently. Honestly, it was a lot better than I remembered. I just wish it kind of got those big man contact dunks. But having this Giannis signature size up makes it so much better. Euro step. Dude, Euro steps are so broken. It's ridiculous. Giannis. Ooh. Come on, contact dunk, please. <laughs> Thank you, bro. I had to get a contact dunk soon enough. Nah, that's clamps, man. That's the Hall of Fame defense in the build. This time, we're going to do an escape. And then we're going to Euro step. We're Euro stepping right here. Oh, I don't know what kind of Euro package that was. But that looks sick. The fact that I can't shoot mid ranges right now is actually making me mad. There we go. See, like, I still have that off. All right, remind me. Actually, nobody can remind me back. <laughs> right when I hop off the court, I'm turning it back on because it's, like, off on all my builds right now for some reason. Hey. Dude, look at this build's defense, though, bro. With slasher takeover. This is where a nice contact dunk has to come into the pit. Really? Bro, why am I not getting a dunk? I have, like, a 99-plus dunk right now. Do not care. We're only going for contact we don't want to get a contact dunk we'll go for floaters then <laughs> i really got snatch blocked <laughs> bro, what twice oh my gosh all right that was almost worth it that move was actually so clean now this is the only build that i have not gotten to 99 yet this year so if you guys want to see the Allen iverson build at 99 make sure to go ahead and drop a like we have everything pretty much important that we need now i know some people say this isn't the most accurate Allen iverson but i feel like it plays pretty much like him and we have the playmaking takeover for ankle breakers this is what we're looking like 
with our bad is we have hall of fame defense you know Allen iverson did lead the lead in steals a few times and we've got hall of fame shooting as well all right we're going up against the slashing playmaker he's a 96 overall seven points so it's kind of like in that weird spot where i don't know how good he'll be this is like one of the only builds i have that can get angle breaker so i have to make sure i can at least get this we're gonna play however we can to win too let's see what he's doing first easy fade easy fade come on that's all day not that much takeover but Mm, he thought we were going that way. Ooh, he's still almost there. Blocked that. These dunks, I feel like on shorter players, take forever to get off. Easy green. Come on, perfect. I know you don't get that much takeover from greening threes, but hey. See if we get his face to the left right here. I feel like he's going to push me right hard. He did. He did. He did. I knew it. We might be able to get takeover. Ugh, I don't like that layup. I do not like getting a layup off that. Which this, I wish I hit like level 40 in all these other seasons because I might have been able to actually get more of these finishing badges, which could have been nice, possibly. Oh my gosh, give me that. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have one more chance. One more chance. That dunk package looks nice, but I feel like it's kind of slow. We have one more opportunity to see if we can get an ankle breaker on this guy. He is playing high up, like I said. So let's see if we can actually get it. Oh my gosh, we did it. We has got a green now. No, but we're fast. No. Two hands. Oh, he goals in today. <laughs> I almost didn't know what happened. Oh my gosh, bro. This took way too long on this Allen Iverson build just because I don't have the max badges yet and the best dribble moves, but at least we got it done. What a build this was. The first catfish build I made was this catfish paint beast Joel Embiid build. It's a catfish because it has really good shooting stats. It can still dominate in the paint and it has good defense for a center build. Oh yeah, and we're protective takeover. All right, well, we're in a pretty big deficit here. 18 to zero. Uh, Yeah, he's trying to press way too high but we are seven foot tall so that's only two though all right look all right look okay we have to be toxic getting rim protector takeover is going to help us a lot but honestly getting rim take on offense it takes a long time so okay look nine percent covered okay he's expecting the post hooks All right, all right, all right, all right. I have to really lock in this game. I'm not trying to lose to this guy, bro. Not this way. Not losing this way. Not losing this way. Switch it up. Drop step. Look, too easy. Come on. But we're nowhere close to getting this post score or getting this rim protector takeover. That's the only downside. I think I might be able to snatch it back for a three real, real quick. Just something real easy. Come on. <laughs> Is this what it feels like, bro? Because, like, that is so toxic. Very early. No, he's going to outrun me. <gasps> I just want it more. I just want it more. Yes, let's go. <laughs> There's no way this 60-something speed just beat him to the ball, man. Oh, my gosh. How did he not get that right there? All right, we got rim take, too. This is good. We're there. If we don't, if we miss it, we still got it. oh my gosh bro i'm so glad we won that game this guy was hitting some ridiculous shot attempts but look when we're on the joel Embiid build you really have to like not lock in the whole entire time you play as to beat us now we have my steph curry or trey young three-point playmaker build but this is made a whole lot more uniquely you can see we have an 88 driving layup so we get the steph curry layup package which a lot of three-point playmakers do not we still have a 93 pointer we still have elite dribble moves. Oh, brother. A glass cleaning finisher when I'm on a guard build. Now, since we're using this to Steph Curry, of course, we had to throw on the Curry slide. I have not used that, like, at all this year. Yep. Silver clamp. Dude, don't, I don't even want to talk about it. How many times do I say silver clamps is the best? Look at the layup. Dude, I'm telling you, the Steph Curry layup package is the best layup in the game. It is so worth having. Green, come on. You better guard up. It's getting cold. Let me take a bow. Bro, stop leaving me open. I'm looking like Steph Curry and you want to sit in the paint. Make that make sense. I'm to the Steph Curry, please. <laughs> We're Steph Curry for a reason. We're making those two. Dude, he is lost. This dude is literally lost. And we have shot creating takeover now. So we can see if we can break his ankles and hit something crazy. Steph Curry layup again. Oh, wait a second. Steph Curry, he's feeling it. Don't get it down. Do you see him getting excited? 
There it is. There it is. Dude, just don't give him a bad animation. Thank you. Now we end this. Give him the ball again is over. Left hand lay. Oh my. See, look. He's not expecting that, bro. Come on. Fade it. Come on, Curry. Come on, Curry. Need that. Bro, I'm almost thinking I just need to like fade right here. Because, bro, if I give him the ball again off something fluky. Come on, lay. Lay. <laughs> Just out of the reach. It's perfect. Let's go, bitch. 21 to 12 against a glass cleaner, bro. We'll take that all day long. Now we've got one of the rarest build names in the game. The new skilled interior force, my Zion Williamson build. 99 driving dunk, 99 standing dunk. We can shoot the basketball. We got good dribble moves and pretty good defensive stats as well. I watched this guy play a little bit. Obviously, he averages a lot of points a game, but he also just like jab steps to three. He's on a glass cleaner that can shoot, so... Is he using real player percentage? Hey, we could be toxic too. Okay, if he leaves us open, we're shooting this. Now that's off. There we go. Come on. That's what we'd like to see. Oh, <laughs> well, I was, oh, I forgot. I don't have handles for days. So I was kind of questioning why my stamina looks so insane. To the three-point shot. And, three point shot. The mid-range of player violin. Come on. Right, I'm hyped up, man. Ooh, contested too. Look, we're looking nice now. If we're hitting contested mid-range shots, there's no way we're losing. I kind of want to shoot a three, but literally having this much of a lead is not safe on the 1v1 court. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we still have Zion Williams and Dunks on for sure. I almost forgot that I had those on. All right, slasher takeover. We're up by 12. Do a little size up. Let's do a little Euro step just to get him off his, you know, just to get him off real quick. Just do a little Euro step, bro. The Euros are ridiculous. 2K23, they're going to be so broken. Ooh, come on, man. Look at us shooting three-point shots, too. What's so nice is having good shot selection pop up on that. So you know like what you're doing is actually good. <laughs> look at look how toxic we're being. All right, okay. We're up by 19. So what we're doing here, we are going for a contact dunk. Something nice for the last one. We're going to spin out so he thinks we're going to go for it. And we'll come back. Giannis right here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, <laughs> get in the poster. He should have been on the ground, but 21 to zero. We missed only a couple shots. That's how you do it. I think the most difficult thing about this challenge is playing on builds that don't have like any defense at all. This build, I'm not literally worried about it at all. We play great interior defense. We can play defense on the perimeter and we can do everything offensively. Ooh, a legend two-way facilitating finisher. Okay, this is going to be a good chance for us to see what we can do. No. No, I think I can shoot, bro. Come on. You better put some respect on my name. That's green, my guy. Oh, it was only a two, but we'll take that. He's gonna stand back. There's no way. Bro, I'll shoot greens all day long. That's the beautiful thing about this build. You wanna play it? We'll, we'll take it to you, too. We'll take it to you, too. If you wanna sit in the paint, I'll take it down there. All right, we gave him a slashing takeover, so we might have to... All right, we might have to just pack him up. That's a great shot, though. So we'll just have to keep doing that. If he wants to sit in the paint and do ball strippers, I'll shoot the ball. This will show you guys how well this build actually can shoot. Because I think the last time I did this, I didn't really shoot it as much as I wanted to. So you'll see, this build can shoot lights out. All right. One three-pointer can win this game for us. We don't want to lose. I did not want to lose on this last one, bro. I did not want to lose. We'll take a dunk. We'll take a dunk. Now he's being smart. He knows that we can shoot the basketball. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. All right, that's not bad, bro. How would I shoot from three? Two for three, but I had like one long one. You know what? This build, I'm telling you guys, I made this build a little while ago and I told you to make it. If you haven't made this yet, you need to. Last but not least, we have the five foot seven slasher. I feel like this one's gonna be the longest one to do. So you guys can see right here, we've got the Michael Jordan dunks, a 99 driving layup, a 98 post hook, which is pretty funny on a five seven. The defense is actually not too bad because we have a 92 steal as well. Think about using a 5-7, it really doesn't matter who you go up against because you're already at such a huge disadvantage. I mean, if we're going to go up against anybody, I think an 82 overall might be the best. Now, this is where I say, like, if we can just win this any way possible, we're going to win this any way possible. Like, it does not matter if I just rim run and do, like, jab steps the whole entire time. See, so, yeah, I'll, like, I'll take that. Dude, I do, I do not care. We'll shoot those. You can't leave us open. That's the thing. Since I'm so small, my stats, like shooting stats, go up like crazy. Oh my gosh. Did we just spin by him into a contact dunk like we're a post score? Oh my gosh. Nah. Here we go. 
The first time I tried not to do a quick drop off. If I got blocked, I do not want to do this again. Hey, MJ Dunk, let's go. Ooh. Contact, please. Was that, <laughs> was that another free throw line, Dunk? Nah. All right, you can see, like I said, 100% shooting. Dude, I'm really just getting free throw line dunks out the wazoo. Dude, he missed. And then I have three fouls. Because, like, even... Wah, wah, wah. Yes, dude. He just... How did he just miss a pretty much wide open layup on a five foot seven? I'd be so mad. Can I get a contact? Dunk? Hey, get up, little guy. Why do I just like, what is wrong with me to feel like I need to make a three pointer right here? Like, I just feel like it needs to drop right in here. A three pointer from deep. For a game, let's go. Oh my gosh. After waiting an hour to find a court, winning on the 5 7 just feels so good. That's going to wrap it up, guys. We have won a 1v1 game with every build I've created this year. Took a lot of time, so please make sure you drop a like on this video. Go ahead and share it with a friend or do something if you've seen it. Till next time, it's been your boy Dignified. I'm out. Peace.